In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a PayPal donation button. And then I'll show you how you can add that button to either your website or your YouTube channel. Now the thing is, when you're making a PayPal donation button, it can only be done on a PayPal business account. So if you've got a personal account, you might want to look into PayPal.me. I've made a video on PayPal.me, so I'll just go ahead and link it on a card now, or it'll be in the description. But if you want to make an actual donation button where people can donate and you've got a business account, what you want to do, you want to log into PayPal, then go to pay and get paid. And this might change over the years, so I'll, I'll try and keep it updated. And then you want to go to PayPal buttons here. That will take you to all of the buttons that you can create on PayPal. Now we're looking for donate, which is in the bottom left hand corner. We can accept donations and contributions. So go ahead and click on that and it will take you to a window like this. So what we can do here is we can change our country and our language if it's not right. In my case, it's correct. And we can also change the button style. I'm going to keep it on large, but you can you can change it if you want. You can also choose to accept uh, card logos, which could be handy if people really don't know that donate button. You can also use your own button image. But again, that is up to personal preference. We can then go ahead and continue. And we can choose to have a logo or you can use a logo which is already hosted. You can't upload a logo. You have to have one that's hosted on the website. So for me, I'm just going to click on don't display a logo. You've then got your organization name here, which is in my case, Bradley Harrison, which is my name. And then you can add like your purpose as well. That is optional. And then for this here, let donors choose specific programs for their donation. This is something to do with charity. So I would just leave it as no and just then click continue. Now it will see your currency. So I'm currently re receiving donations in Great British Pounds, which is the currency I use. Donation Donors can give um, any amount. You can set it to these two as well. But if someone's donating, I like to think that they would give any amount that they want. I wouldn't restrict them to donate a certain amount. You can let them make recurring donations if they want to. So again, I would have that on yes. And I would also give them the option to increase their donation amount to help cover the fees. Because when people donate, there are going to be fees. They're going to take it off the amount of money that you receive. So we can click yes on this. And then we can go ahead and continue. So then you've got some optional settings here. You've got information from your donors. So you can choose if you want to receive your donors uh, email address. By default, it's on no. Um, you can choose whether you want the to allow them to give you a note. By default, it's on yes, which I like. Um, you can then take your donations or take your donors to a specific site if they don't donate. So like if they cancel the donation, it will then redirect them to whatever website you put in here. And then if they have completed the donation, it will take them to a website you put in here. So you could create like a thank you page and add it to here if you wanted to. And then you've got some HTML button variables, which I won't go into. Uh, but what you want to do now is you want to just finish and get that code. And here is our donation button. So what we've got, we've got a shareable link, which we can share on social media. So this is good if you want to add it to your YouTube channel. So I'll just go ahead and copy it and I'll open it in a new tab and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the donation page once it, once it loads. I'm not a robot. So here it is. You can choose how much you want to donate. Or you can choose whether you want it to be a monthly donation and if you want to offset the processing fees. So that is the donation link. You can also scroll down and you can copy the entire code. And here what you can do, you can embed this onto a website. So that's how you can do it, guys. Please do leave a link if that helps you out. And make sure you comment down below if you've got any questions. And I'll see you in the next one.